Welcome to Extra Extra, presented by VDG Sports. I am your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. Noobs, thank you for giving me the opportunity. Regs, back at it again. Abbreviated form still. New season. Everything is fine. Everything's okay. Got to keep it short so that people can tune in a little bit more. You understand. You understand. Hopefully. I'm not a, uh, I don't know how I feel about, or I guess I do know how I feel about it. I just don't know how it, how it came to this. My, uh, my uh, lovely feelings about the airport. My lovely feelings about the airport because something unique happens all the, all the time, at least so far within the past two years, within the past two years. And I don't, it, it makes me, it makes me not want to, it makes me not want to make, uh, it makes me not want to do something. It makes me not want to make eye contact. It makes me not want to just do what I usually do when I'm in the airport. And that's uh, find ways to enter my tank, find ways to entertain myself, whether it's watching a movie, whether it's people watching, whether it's um, drinking adult beverages, even though I haven't done that within a long time, even though I have not done that within a long time, because there was occasions where I guess I had one, maybe two, but there were some other people that was in the same spot as I was. And for whatever reason, I don't know how they scheduled or I don't know how they planned out their vacation or holiday or whatever they was on, how they sorted their tickets or whatnot, but they didn't sit together. They sat separate and one of the two sat near me. And let's just say it was full chaos. I believe um, you can go back and check the historical documents. I uh, mentioned this and I uh, talked very, very in depth about that plane ride that situation but you have to you have to go more 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 many and multiple multiple seasons back you got to go many and multiple seasons back for that but i'll give you the vince notes the vince notes they were both wasted i can smell the aki hall the adult beverage coming out of the pores of the person sitting next to me but they wanted their partner to sit where I was sitting. And so me being the nice guy that I am, I volunteered to uh, get up and move and sit back where or basically change seats. But that was frowned upon on the airline. That was frowned upon by the flight attendant. And they suggest that I move back. And I'm guessing that was frowned upon because money was exchanged. They uh, offered me money. They gave me money, but it wasn't about the money. I was going to move anyway because I wanted to breathe fresh air. I was going to move anyway because I wanted to breathe fresh air. And that's what I told the flight attendant. And that's what I told, uh, you know, everyone, because that was true. And I didn't keep the money, by the way. I did give it back. So I did give it back. But they end up getting booted off the plane anyway because they created an entire fiasco and they just had to leave and they were pretty much gone, escorted out and what have you. And that was uh, that was uh, entertaining. I went back to my uh, regular seat. Oh, I uh, had the fresh air that I truly, truly deserved and wanted. Truly deserved and wanted. And that was a long flight, too. That wasn't... um. That wasn't like an hour flight. That was like two hours, possibly three, two hours and 45 minutes. So it was, it was a, it was a great distance. It wasn't, it wasn't like a short trip. So it was, it, it was long. It was definitely long. But you can go back and check the historical documents on that and go into great detail. But I didn't do that. Oh, I haven't done that in a long time. And I'm not, and I don't think it's because I'm uh, suffering. It isn't because that I'm fearful and it isn't because that I irrationally think that if I go and have an adult beverage that that would happen again. No, 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 no. 
I just haven't felt the need to. I just haven't felt the need to to um just have an adult beverage before or before the the plane uh, trip. If I'm offered, and depending on how long the flight is in air, more than likely I probably would or will. But before, nah, nah, uh, uh-uh. uh, and I I can't really say why. I can't really put a finger on why. But as of late, recently, that hasn't been the issue. That hasn't been the the thing that's got me shook, rattled, and rolled when it comes to the uh, air, airport and airplane and hanging out and doing what I would want to do is watch movies, watch TV shows, people watch. In fact, I think my uh, last couple of plane trips, I was able to finish complete seasons, complete seasons of shows that uh that 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 I was watching or that I wanted to watch. So that should give you a uh, let you know how uh, how it used to be or how it was even with this new uh caveat, even with this new thing that's that that's happening. And it's got to the point where I'm at the airport, I'm doing what it do, I'm either people watching or I'm watching my, my, my shows. And even when I'm watching my shows, I'm able to people watch at the same time because I'm, I'm, um, I'm, uh, how can I put this? Multi dimensional. I can do multiple things at once. I was going to say multi talented, but multi talented sounds like, uh, I'm, I'm trying to be arrogant, but I'm just being humble. And it's definitely not a humble brag because a humble brag would be, would be me basically saying that. I do what I normally do. And that's what a lot of people can't do. And that's just me humble brag. And if I wanted to humble brag, but I'm just being humble. I'm, uh, I'm multidimensional. That, that's the humble version. I'm multidimensional. So I can watch what I'm watching on this show. People watch and have a full conversation texting at the same time or simultaneously. If you want, if you want big words. But as of late, as I was saying, as of late, it seems when I'm people watching and I'm watching people that there has been a few occasions where me and whoever I'm people watching, we make eye contact or for whatever reason, we kind of cross paths and we cross paths. I guess the stars align and the stars are aligning and we're crossing paths. And I'm pretty sure I don't I'm not a. I'm not uh, really happy about that, to say the least. And if you need to know why, I suggest you go back and check uh, the historical document on that. On my uh, second most recent flight and what had happened and how I was singled out, even though I didn't do anything. Why is the flight or why was the flight attendant paying attention to my bag and worried about my bag when the person behind me is breaking the rules and it wasn't just that flight it was multiple flights by the way because the next one it was the person people beside me and behind me breaking the rules but yet i'm the bad guy but yet i'm the bad guy whatever fly that flight again never what if what if i had to pay more to go somewhere else and use a different place that's what i would probably do this company is dead to me. This company will, will will not get any more business from me ever unless unless I'm not the one buying the ticket. And even if I'm not the one buying the ticket, I'm going to make things extremely difficult. I'm going to be difficult to this company from here on out because what they did, how they responded, how they acted, uh-uh. That ain't cool. That ain't cool on any levels ever, period, ever. And I don't want our stars to align because the stars align and it definitely wasn't something that I was ready for. And it definitely wasn't something that I could say I can appreciate. It definitely wasn't something that I would even dream of either or either. If you want to be politically correct. The thing, the thing is. For the last couple of uh, instances at the airport, 
And when I do my people watch and I somehow uh, cross the path and the stars align to certain groups or certain individuals, certain people, those are normally or usually the ones that are either sitting beside me, behind me or somewhere around me where I can't escape. I can't escape. And why would I want to escape? I'd want to escape because let's just say these people are bad actors and not acting or actors as in um, movies, TV, actors as in just gen general human being actors. It is just, just bad as far as when it comes to um, following the rules, being uh, considerate of others or just accepting the fact we're all on the same plane. We're all having a shared experience. We're all going to be a little bit uncomfortable, but let's not go out of our way to make somebody else uncomfortable just so we can be comfortable. And it seems the last couple of, um, stars being aligned. I've been aligned with any, any, any one of those things that I just mentioned, or probably all of the above, probably all of the above. And I'm going to contribute this to the, the I'm just going to contribute this to that airline company. And therefore I'm just not going to deal with them anymore because when asked about how are you going to handle the situation or make the situation pleasant or make the situation different? Didn't get an answer. Reached out to customer service. Didn't get an answer. Reached out to the level, next level. Didn't get an answer. So I'm like, all right, cool. That's fine. You're dead to me. Bye-bye. It's over forever. Unless somebody bought a ticket. And even if they bought a ticket, I'm going to be difficult. I'm going to be difficult because I can understand. I can understand you want, you want to live your life. You want control. You want this. You want that. You want what you want. And you're going to get it regardless because the world revolves around you and everything else. And everybody else is just living in it. If they're going to say something, they better be ready to, they better be ready to go. If they're going to say something, they better be ready to go. And see, I, I'm not going to say I was ever like that, but there definitely was a part of me that just uh, thought I'm just going to have to go all the time. I'm just going to have to go all the time. Therefore, I'm just going to stay in go mode. I'm going to stay in go mode because I'm in go mode. I don't got to get ready. If I ain't got to get ready, I'm bombing first. If I'm bombing first, they'll know not the mess. They will know not the mess. I'm not at that age. I'm not at that age anymore where uh, that's acceptable. I'm not at that age anymore where um, that's uh, that, that, that that's uh, answer number one. I'm not at that age and place in my life anymore where I find that sensible or logical or even gut feeling and intuition wouldn't wouldn't allow that. Not now. Not now. I'm more at the I'm more at that level where, OK, this is what it is. This is what you're going to do. I got you. I'm going to uh, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you about yourself. I'm going to tell everybody else about you. And I'm going to do everything in my power possibly can to destroy you. I'm not I don't have to lay a finger on you, but I will destroy you. You will be destroyed. You will be destroyed. If it's me destroying you in my mind, if it's me destroying you in some form or fashion, you will be destroyed. And I'm not talking about I'm keeping my hands, feet, and other objects to myself. I don't have to touch you to destroy you. And so I was thinking of it that way. Because some of these unruly passengers, it's like we're already crammed. So if you're letting your seat all the way back and you're in my lap, that's no good. That's no good to me. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? But I know what some of you are going to say. Some of you are going to say, just upgrade. Just upgrade. Go to the next level. Go to the next. I'm like, all right, cool. But even if I do that, there's going to be, there's the other issues. Even if I do that, there are the other issues as well about people just can't follow directions. People can't follow the rules. Like, where my baggage supposed to go? Why are you taking my spot? 
Okay, you're going to put my luggage somewhere else. That's cool. That's fine. But I'm not going to go to that spot where you put it. How about this? When it's time for us to go and time for us to get up, you go get it and you bring it to me since I wanted to put it where I'm at. How about that? Or, sir, uh, you're going to have to uh, check your, your luggage. But there's a, there's a spot right there and I didn't sign up for this. Uh, and so being forced to, 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 to do that as well. So it's a lot, a lot, a lot of things that just got me annoyed with that company in particular and how my uh, superpowers are working against me now when it comes to being in an airport, because when I'm in the airport and I make contact eye contact or somehow pick out that these are bad actors. Those bad actors end up sitting near or around me or beside me. And I have to put up with it. It's like the universe saying, yeah, you got the superpower. You were able to understand and realize that what it is and what's going on, but your learning process ain't over yet. You're going to learn some more. You're going to learn how to deal with this. You're going to learn how to turn the other cheek. But what if they touch me? They ain't going to touch you. But if you touch them, they ready. They are ready. You don't want that. No, I don't want the smoke. I don't want the smoke. I've seen enough videos. I've seen enough videos. I've seen enough airline type stuff that I don't want to be a part of. I'm not trying to embarrass my family like that. Even if I'm okay, even if I don't really care about criticism, even if I don't give a F, I ain't trying to embarrass my peeps like that. I ain't trying to embarrass my family. I ain't trying to be the dude on the TV and then one of my, uh, one of my cousins say, ain't that, ain't that big fits? And then next thing you know, my phone blowing up and I can't even, I can't even answer the phone because I don't want to. Well, you get it. I can't even answer the phone because I don't know who it is because there's just so many different numbers that's unrecognizable to me. But is everybody reaching out asking me, am I okay? Yeah, I'm okay. But you should have seen what happened on the flight. Let me tell my side of the story. Let me tell my side of the story. And see, I like chaos. I like adventure. I like all of the madness as well. And by me choosing to do what's necessary and get physical, physical, I want to get physical, na, 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 angelic, bird-like voice. So in instead of me um, doing that, getting physical and um, making my uh, fingers do uh, push-ups and pull-ups, making my fingers do push-ups and pull-ups. That causes a chain reaction and that have me in more events that would put more emphasis on, 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 on it'll put more emphasis on my uh, expectation, being able to explain explanation and it's just, tedious so instead and i and i didn't even bring up the i didn't even bring up the the associate part because bringing up the associate part i knew that i knew that vince was a bad guy i knew that vince was a bad character and see that's just their confirmation bias finally uh finally coming around and i'm not trying to uh i'm not trying to contribute to that i'm not trying to contribute to that and other things and i i just want to Get on my flight, be comfortable as possible, not have to worry about somebody breathing on me. Don't have to worry about somebody drinking on me. Don't have to worry about me inhaling somebody else's uh, adult beverages. I don't have to worry about somebody trying to put their head in my lap. I don't have to worry about somebody's uh, kid uh, wanting to call me a. Uh, uh, a name? Yeah, I'm sorry. We just met. I'm pretty sure your father is a nice guy. But it ain't me. It ain't me.
And that's why I have to say, I don't know what happened. I don't know how all of this came about. But universe, oh universe, we got to have a serious talk. I'm ready. What about you? 